What is up, YouTube? I'm Alan. I'm Casey. And you're watching Practical Survival. And today is a show on a slow, local company. a local camp company, Slow Camp and Pack in San Luis Obispo, California. And cool little shop. Cool. Little very shop. cool shop. I can't believe they stuffed that much stuff in that little room. I'm telling you, it's incredible. <laughs> it's incredible. One of our, our our favorite shop. In, in the whole county, pretty much. Oh yeah. So if you want to go out camping, if you want to go out for a day trip, a weekend trip, or a week trip, they got everything that you can just go down there, try not to get lost in that little room, and then go out and get lost up in the hills, or out in the valley, or out in the deserts, or next to a river, or out next to the ocean. It doesn't matter. They got everything in there that you need. So check them out. Yep. And that sounded like a commercial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. This video, in particular, is on some of the knives that Slow Camp Pack sells. Slow Camp Pack sells a lot of knives, and I went in there the other day, and they had something really cool that I have not seen since I was in the military. They have K-Bar, made in USA, in only New York. K bar knives. America. Yep. <laughs> so they have the short and they have the full size. Both versions of this knife are ninety nine or excuse me, ninety five ninety five dollars and ninety nine cents. So let's crack on open into these things. And angels are singing somewhere, I promise you. You bet. So this particular full size is the UMC version. This is your, probably your more of a standard camp around, play around, do whatever you want. If you want to carry a knife on your hip all day long, yep. you can short. carry this one. So, history of these knives, this full size knife has been made the same way since 1942 when K-Bar got the contract from the United States Marine Corps for the new combat knife for the Marines. It comes in serrated and straight edged. It's full size, so straight edge. The five and a half and a quarter inch, the smaller size, is a serration down here at the bottom. Yep. The she's, these leather she's, Pretty decent quality, made in Mexico. They do need, they're pretty stiff, they need to be broken in a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing. They will get scarred up a little bit, taking yeah. the knife in and out. Nothing a little hole won't take care of. They both have belt loops and straps for the handle. Very simple, very clean. This one says K Bar USA, that one has the USMC logo on it. Yep. So now, for an additional $20, you can also get the GRN sheet, that is glass reinforced nylon, for both knives. Mm -hmm. This one, uh, you put them in there, and honestly, who doesn't love it? Look how sick that looks. In my opinion, that's pretty cool. So, on this one, you have two straps. You got your one up here at the top. You got your one that goes across right up here. Honestly, if I personally got this knife, I don't think this strap up top here would be much on there any much longer. Uh, you pretty pretty good here. Yeah, you're gonna have a little flex there at your uh, belt loop where the knife is. But honestly, when you reach down, you get your hand come across, boom, you're already grabbed down there and go. You don't have to worry about two buttons undoing. So that's my opinion on this little Kydex. Yep. Or not Kydex, glass reinforced nylon. <laughs> I'm getting my butt chewed because of that, trust me. So, they, they both have uh, locks on the glass reinforced nylon. So, when the blade goes in, it locks down on the handle. And that is not going anywhere on either knife. 
And then of course you do have your handle strap. Now this one just has the one handle strap up at the top of the handle, which I prefer. He prefers his going across the guard. <coughs> but that's not coming out. You've got a little plastic piece here that is if you want to run this in a drop leg, that is what this little piece is for. I never plan to wear this on a drop leg rig, so this little plastic piece will be coming off for me. But that is easy enough to do. In order to get, once you unsnap, in order to get the knife out of the GRN sheath, you press down on the backing of the sheath right here. You see those little triangles and, right there? That's what he's talking about. Yeah. It locks on. And it releases the lock. Once you press down, it releases the lock and you can pull the knife out. I prefer the Kydex sheath. Casey prefers... You did it to me. <laughs> I prefer... I prefer the GRN sheath. Casey prefers the leather sheath. However, you're going to be storing these knives long term. Do not store them in the leather sheath because leather retains water. And these blades are 1095 chromium. It's a high carbon steel mixed with chromium and vanadium. And chromium and vanadium help with the corrosion resistance and the blade retention but the knife will still rust if you leave it stored in the leather sheath. Mm -hmm. So just be smart about it. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. Leather is for use, not, not for storage. Knife. Let's talk a little bit about the knife, shall we? Yes. Again, this one is five and a quarter inch length blade. The uh, coat, what is the coating on it? It's just a black coating it they they really don't give any specifics on that okay. it is a it is an anti-reflective coating so it's kind of a mate finish so it's not going to throw any shine anywhere rat tail yep and it goes through all the way through and it's pinned on right there at the end there's a little silver pin going right through it doesn't go all the way through it just goes probably into the rat tail um, Clip point? Clip point blades. Bowie style clip point blades. Yeah, that's what was wrong with the apple, but. With an unsharpened swedge running along the backside. Now, back in 1942, when they started issuing these for World War II, these swedges were sharpened. And you could, if you wanted to, very easily sharpen that swedge right. right there. However, you're going to have to be a lot more careful with your blade because that 1095 curl van sharpens razor sharp in a hurry. Mm -hmm. So you have to be really careful if you do do that. Now what might confuse a lot of people is they got this little hollow ground right through here on each side that is not for blood. No. Yeah. No. It's just to take out some weight of the blade and strengthen the spine of the blade. Yeah. So you can see that right here. It's just a fuller. Uh, That's the word I was looking for. Fuller. Yeah. My brain's not here right now. Now, this knife is stamped USMC, K Bar Only New York. His knife is stamped USA, K Bar Only New York. Uh, we have a nice guard mm -hmm. right That's here. That is a pretty good, even so, on the little guy here, there's a nice guard. It's pretty good. Yeah. So, in any stabbing motions or or anything like that it's you're gonna be locked in your hand is not gonna go run up onto the blade and cut you you're gonna be totally locked in and fine and the handle itself is made out of leather it's a stacked leather handle um, it does have grooves cut in on it to help with the slipperiness if your hand gets all slippery it will not slip very comfortable mm. handle. It's even got a nice yeah. Even it's got a nice palm swell. Even this little one has a nice little palm swell. Now I have extra large hands so my hand will run from the hand guards all the way to the end of the knife. I don't have anything left over with this smaller handle. 
unlike the full size knife, I've got a full section left over down there. So if even if your hands are double XL, you're still gonna be able to get a good grip on the full size knife. Balance point on these knives is right at this one's a little heavier than the handle. Right about there for the smaller one. Um, the blades on these, this smaller knife could use a little bit of a touch up. Mm -hmm. It's not razor sharp. No, that's what it is. But a few nicks. Yeah, this one it's not razor sharp. And and the serrations are nice and sharp. But the blade itself could use a little bit of a touch up. That full size blade is razor sharp straight out of the box. Um, soldiers, some soldiers do carry this smaller one. They carry it more as a backup knife. Or more utility so, knife. Or utility line. knife. More soldiers carry this knife than any other knife. The reason why is because it just works. Now they do have some more modern handle materials that they use what's called Craton G, which is a it's almost like a hard rubber style handle that uh, does better in the elements than this leather stack does. Once this leather stack gets wet, it's going to swell up on you. And if you get it in salt water, it's going to degrade super, super fast. So this is not a salt water knife with a leather stack handle. However, you can take the Craton G version out in the salt water. You just have to make sure to clean your blade and oil it once you get out of the water. So, like I said, these were from Slow Camping Pack. And both of these knives were $95.99. And the customer service in that store is Unbelievable. Incredible. Unbelievable. They answer all of your questions. If they don't have the answer, they'll find the answer. Mm -hmm. If they don't happen to have what you're looking for in stock, like if they happen to be sold out of these K-Bars, they will be more than happy to order you one. And it's usually a pretty quick turn turnaround on this knife coming back in. It is a beautiful knife. Don't stab the table. <laughs> it I is a beautiful kill you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my sister might not like that very much. But this is a beautiful knife. And it is very reasonably priced. Um, so head on down to Slow Camper Pack. Absolutely. And pick yours up today. Do it, do it, do it. And go in there and check out what they got. Blow you away. You walk in, you'll spend. How long do you spend in there? I can spend hours in there. I can spend two, three hours in there. It's not like you're looking at the stuff. You can sit there and talk to the guys because they got experience with doing everything you think of. So just do it. Go in there and talk to them. Yep. So that's it for us. Thanks for watching Practical Survival. Don't forget to leave some comments down below. If you know someone who is local to San Luis Obispo and is looking for a good knife, uh, share this video with them or feel free to send them on down to Slow Camping Pack. They will be more than happy to uh, to send you. Tell them Alan or, or Casey or Practical Survival sent you on down there and they'll treat you right. You bet. And uh, stick with us. We will be uh, testing all these knife edges out and have a real good time with them when we go camping and everything. And we'll definitely yep. let you know some feedback on them. This was just really the unboxing and giving you a heads up of what we're going to be doing and what, what Slow Camping Pack has done. So, yeah. so thanks for watching, guys. We'll check you all later. See ya.